Hi everybody, welcome back to Time Predicts and today we are doing another kind of a reading. Today we are doing his feelings, current feelings for you. What is he thinking? What is he? Uh, what is his next move? And there were nice cards when I just shuffled, but let's see what messages we get. This one turned in my hand, no reversals. Look at this. Bringing something to you, carrying feelings for you. I feel if they haven't expressed, if they don't talk much about their feelings or you... Uh, you know, always complain that, you know, you do not tell me how you feel or I don't know what they're really thinking. So what's in their mind or what's in their heart, they're going to come and tell you because this is somebody holding something to tell you or bringing it out, you know, it's like holding it inside their heart, but uh, bringing it out to tell you. So maybe this reading was important for you because, uh, you know, you wanted uh, them to talk you wanted them to express maybe they're not expressive or maybe you are uh, you don't know what their feelings are and they always hold it inside you know whenever you think they'll send a text or a message to tell about the feelings that never comes or they never talk to you that way you know they do hold feelings they do love you they do care for you it seems it it is there in their actions it is there in their words sometimes words sometimes but you really want them to tell you how they feel so i think that expression that expression that they love you the expression that they uh you know have a, a place in their life for you is going to you know uh, they're going to speak about it and they're going to talk about it openly i think uh, whatever they've kept inside i really feel they're going to uh, talk about it okay and uh yeah and i i feel uh there it's like uh they stay somewhere close with a lot of like plateaus or uh i don't know i'm getting the word plateaus or you know green pastures like a lot of where their sheep are grazing i've got cows grazing i get that kind of a you know uh a, a place yeah look at this eight of pentacles it's like almost some kind of a magic getting woven into this you know you preparing something or they're preparing you know a love potion it's almost or you prepared a love potion for them to talk out talk about their feelings you know something to come out in the open you know it's like they need they need a little bit magic you could be dealing with a earth sign there could be an earth sign i feel they have a lot of feelings about you it's like all inside they don't talk about it it's all bottled if it's a new relationship or you've been seeing them it's like you really want them to tell you because you feel it and they feel it also so maybe they've taken a step back and not telling uh, you know how they feel or they were a little worried that should they reveal everything to you that how they feel and if they tell you uh, how they feel you know how men are sometimes if they tell you how they feel you know it's like uh, they they don't find it like uh, kind of cool to talk about the feelings you know a lot of times men are not trained to cry or to talk about the feelings openly but i feel that the feelings will come out in the open with this you know it's a magic potion it's like you almost given them a magic potion you're like hey you know uh, they're actually talking about how they feel they're actually saying i love you and they're actually uh, doing something about it so when we talk about action and next move this is actually talking about it this is actually telling you in whatever form you know i definitely see that bottle with a message you know rolled up message uh, in a bottle i don't know why it could be a water sign you could be dealing with a water sign you could be a water sign yeah the the chariot see whenever you you like almost at the brink of wondering where to go you know it's like movement you know uh should uh will they take it forward will they not take it forward you know is there a next step in it is there movement in it because uh the uh chariot is always about movement there's a seven number maybe you're a july born maybe they are a july born but this is actually a you know like a uh, cool chariot red color chariot it's like movement you know it's almost them finding their way to you finding the way finding a way to express maybe they're not very expressive but they will find a way to express and when i say movement has started chariot is all about movement uh, and coming towards you it's the cancer sign i get the cancer sign quite a lot like water it's almost they started the motorcycle you know and uh, they're like i'm coming towards you i'm gonna pick you up they already got the cat maybe they have a pet uh, a, a, a cat as a pet black i get a black cat maybe a leather jacket maybe they have a black leather ja jacket i i feel they like you know uh, wearing leather clothes i don't promote leather but i'm saying you know uh, like maybe it's not like proper leather i saw this card while shuffling when i was talking to you guys and uh, i said it that there is a card that i want to come out because this is carrying the torch of love this is love written all over look at this 
how beautiful the pieces are and this is wanting to tell you you know it's almost not giving time for somebody to hold on you know like the cat is almost falling um, from the stick and that's the speed i really feel you're going out with a younger person or there is an age difference especially the man i feel younger because um, we don't have page here but you've got knight of cups i definitely with the with the cards get like a young young person energy or they are like that you know there's a lot of um, vibrancy you know when they talk they're vibrant you know the colors they wear maybe that's another thing because we've got a lot of red vibrant things and this is a uh, nothing stopping them you know they've made up their mind that they have to tell you look at the hand out you know that's what i thought that today's reading is about you know if they haven't really expressed because i've not done his feelings for a long long time you know normally i do their feelings but i don't know why but i had a feeling that they have to say something to you or they're keeping in their heart and you've been wanting them to say it in as many words like i love you or something that really really makes you feel uh, nice and special or they have to you know they haven't still told you that they love you and you want them to say it so you know you know a lot of times we know it in our heart but we uh, want to know it not just in actions but in words also which is important maybe in actions also they're going to come forward and tell you that uh, you know they uh, want something serious with you or if you're already in a serious relationship it's going to be the next move because this is actually also for the world to see maybe they announce it to their family if, uh, to their friends because it's a world it's for the world to see what they really want and look at this you've got such beautiful cards and this is high priestess number two with a twin flame soulmate connection with a lot of uh, you know intuition and it's almost like foreseeing it's like you have that feeling maybe they said you know i want to talk to you i want to see you i want to say something special i want to say something and you've been having that intuition that something is going to happen i also get orbs maybe you have someone who's passed away around you you know always protecting you or you could be a tarot reader or a psychic like me or a clairvoyant like me and i get a light worker and uh, i don't know why but i feel the light's going to flicker around you or they flicker around you or recently flickered around you i get a fireplace i get like warmth it's like you almost saw this coming you know and you've got runes or something you know you started getting interested in something like runes but i also feel you ordered a chair with a like a high back i don't know why i get that i got the word computer maybe you like playing games also or they like computer games i got the word war something to do with war they like uh, they like uh, war stories or war crime and uh, this this is beautiful this is twin flame this is number 11 so 11 11 is also very very important maybe you got a reading about them uh, you know recently and uh, you you got a message that yes you know they they are interested in you and they're going to you know talk about it and tell you look at this how nice it makes you feel you feel free and also you've been going with the flow you know you've not given it much thought you're like if they want to come they will but you know it's like that uh, whole excitement that when will uh, they say and it's like uh, this card seems like when you've already received a message or they've expressed and you just throw your hat you know and it's like you know yeah you know it happened i get the words it happened you know so whatever uh, good things are going to happen to you i get i get the lines or the words you know exact that you're going to say hey it happened you know i feel so good and they did message and they did call you're going to tell your friend this is also you know telling everybody like i said i mean it's going to come out in the open if you guys have been had to hide your relationship or if you are in um, like even an extra marital and you know i don't judge at all so it, it, it could be that or probably in a relationship you can't tell other people you know same sex relationship and you're like oh you know somebody they will tell and you've been wanting them to tell someone because that makes you feel nice that gives a validation that yes they are serious about you look at the hangman energy this is how they've been behaving this is how it is right now so you will not know when it's coming and you know they will come towards you suddenly because they've been thinking about it they've been thinking about turning things around and uh, you know uh, doing something different which they could be scared a lot of uh, you could be dealing with uh, somebody who's an introvert okay and they bound themselves if you see they bound themselves it's not that they can't uh, get down you know there's there's a key or maybe their family or friends you know so something around them maybe for a lot of you this uh, reading could be that uh, they could not talk about the relationship at that point of time uh, whatever the situation because it's a general reading so now it's like uh, they have to talk about it and they also want it to come out in the open or to say the words that they wanted to say you know i think they uh, for some of you they've been wanting to be very very sure that yes you are the one look at this you are the one and they have to tell you this two of cups so beautiful 
it's so much like the lover's card, you know, always because there is joy, there is a celebration, there is exchange of words. And, you know, probably they're going to uh, uh, call you on a date or something or getting together, maybe watching a movie. And that's like they could be like, you know, let's watch something or let's watch the sunrise or watch the sunset, like something like that. And uh, while you are talking and they do say it, the words that you always wanted to hear is what I get. Let's see any other words. Let's see their current feelings. Current feelings is they, they can't keep it to themselves. I mean, it's like they have to say it. Let's see 10 cards. I'm going to keep 10 cards away. And then I'm going to give you the messages. Otherwise, I'll keep counting. Five. Six. Okay, that's nice. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Like I saw the new lover card. I saw it. And I think you could be dealing with a new lover who, who is like wondering when should I say the magical words. Okay. Sometimes when it's new, you don't know, you know, are you going to uh, scare the other one? And I said these words, I said, go with the flow. You know, when the uh, woman was throwing the hat, look at this. It's almost like going with the flow. She's left it, you know, and uh, it's like when it's going to happen, it's going to happen. I'm in a shell now. So a lot of them could be um, not talking because they're taking time. I definitely feel a, a water sign or somebody who reacts so slowly or wants to take time, which is also good. They want to spend time and know that, uh, you know, you are the one and not just lead you on to different things. For them, this is bad timing. You know, this was not the right time. Like I told you, they had to, uh, you know, not come out with their feelings because the timing wasn't right, okay, for them. They've been through hell. Maybe that's why they could not tell you or they could not take a step towards you. Some of you are dealing with a person with a lot of ego. I mean, it takes a lot to get things out of them. They're like, remember I said uh, men are trained like that. Should I say it? It's not. I Should I say it first or should they say it first? Didn't they approach me? Should I approach them? All that happens in their, in their head. So you've got a new lover. Maybe they were. That's why they are just assessing the situation emotional about you. I saw the moon card there. I was going to say emotional, but you know how I get how much I get excited about my messages and I forgot that card. But I did see it somewhere here with the emotions. Let me see. I mean, I saw it and I was going to say, yeah, they are emotional about you. Truly I think it was somewhere around here with the lovers card. And uh, yeah, so that's what I feel need courage to talk to you so it could be a new relationship or they are you know mustering up all the strength that you know, what should i tell them you know so for some of you that is they need courage and i think they're a little scared that uh, do you also feel the, the way the way they feel about you i feel your pain so for some of you uh it's like they know that you're waiting for this maybe it's not the right time maybe the time is not right and they know that you really want uh, them to uh, say it to you and they will and for some of you it's going to be peace in a situation maybe you guys had fought and maybe you know you want uh, them to say it again and they haven't said it in a while so like we had a fight we're back together but they're not saying it they're not behaving it behaving the same way do they really love me so that's they are going to say seven uh, zodiac signs let's see seven we've got aquarius okay spirit guys please give me messages Capricorn, this could be your zodiac or their zodiac. You've got Libra, you've got Leo, you've got Sag. So we have, like I tell you, always forget five, two more to go. You've got Cancer, I told you. Cancer definitely was, you know, just as a zodiac was coming out to me again and again, that has to be Cancer, emotional, and, you know, shell and a Scorpio. So water time, uh, water. You know, the time is going to be better. Don't worry, guys. Things will be right. You've got beautiful cards and this is what they want. And they are going to say it and they're going to, you know, just shout, you know, stand on a mountain top and probably shout out. I love you. OK. And I don't know why I got the word echo and you're going to say it back to them. That's what I feel. So thank you so much, guys. And I'll be back another reading pretty much soon. I hope you enjoyed this reading, which was for his feelings, especially. Bye, guys.